Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Ambrosia Studio. My name is Ambrosia, and today I'm going to do a quick little video to show you how I create my really intricate, detailed ring designs. There are so many women out there who love all of the detailed cutout shapes that I do or the beautiful engraving designs, uh, maybe even the beaded filigree. You know, the more detail, the better. So today I'm going to show you how I start with a really simple sketch of this beautiful swirl design with some leaves, add a couple of diamonds and rubies, and then how do I use that design and create it into a really intricate cutout ring shape. Um, so anyways, you guys, uh, take a look and let's get started. Okay, so you guys can see here, I basically have a layout of how wide of this ring is going to be, and then it's going to taper a little bit smaller towards the back. And here is a simple sketch that I have scanned and imported into the computer, and I laid out roughly where the diamonds and rubies are going to be according to their sizes. And so basically what I do is go through the whole design and trace my whole scroll work. I've already gone through and did all of the scroll work here to save us some time because this honestly took me about four to five hours to finally get all the gemstones in the right place, the swirl sizes, um, just kind of the whole details. So here is where I'm making the swirls a little bit more of a three-dimensional shape. And so we're just gonna end the swirls with a little bit kind of a curved edge because I don't want it to be a perfectly flat cut off edge on these swirls. So we're just going to finish this off and I wanted the swirls to kind of have like a little bit of a dome shape to it to give it a really smooth finish. So here we go. Now you can see that I have finished all of the swirls. I created these little leaf shapes as well. It's going to be very three dimensional ring. And these purple little bezels are what the diamonds and gemstones are actually going to be set in. So we don't have any prongs. It's going to be a very smooth ring. So now what I need to do is show this overall design um, in the computer and say that I want it to mirror onto the ring plane. So what I'm going to do is create a plane for this whole scroll design. And this is the exact same width as what the ring is. So the computer is going to know exactly where the scroll work should go. So what we're going to do is flow all of these green swirl shapes onto this ring and I don't want it to be rigid because I want it to actually curve with the band and there we go so now it has all this beautiful scroll work that went all the way around the ring so now what I need to do is select the bezels and the diamonds and rubies and I'm going to do the same thing flow around but I'm going to have it rigid because we don't want these bezels to be kind of an oblong shape I want them to be perfectly round here we go. So now you guys can see all of that detailed scroll work has now been mirrored onto the actual ring curvature of the ring. So what I want to do is have an, a finished edge on each side of the ring. And so I'm just going to add a line here so I can create a profile that's going to match basically where the scrolls end. And we want a little bit of a dome finish here too. Um, but where the scrolls end from each side. And then the bottom of the ring, we are keeping completely solid for one durability, because if you're smacking your ring around, the bottom of the ring is usually where it gets the most wear and tear. So that's gonna be a nice durable part of the ring. But also if we ever need to resize it, we have that option as well. Um, I actually am gonna have to go back through and kind of tweak this model a little bit, because you'll see these green swirls are not going to touch the outside edge of the band. So that's something that I just have to go back through and make a few more adjustments. So when I tell people that it takes me a while to do these 3D computer models, you can see um, four to five hours is pretty typical. Um, all said and done, this ring is probably gonna take me about six, closer to eight hours to complete. Okay, so now we are going to make this finished edge come all the way around here. And so this is gonna make it a very comfortable ring. So you're not gonna have any of these rough edges or um, worry about anything snagging on the ring. So now we're just gonna mirror this onto the other side. And there we go. Gives it a little bit more of a finished look to it. And so now what I'm going to do is create just a solid piece on the bottom here. Um, it takes a lot more work, but just to save you guys some time, um, I'm just going to quick put a 
finish piece here because what I actually need to do is make sure that the outside edges match this solid piece perfectly so you don't see any seams because you're going to see here in a little bit that this doesn't match perfectly there's an edge to it and you're going to have basically a sharp corner and that's not comfortable whatsoever so you can see here right there it doesn't match up perfectly so that's something I'm going to have to come back through and fix perfectly but like I said, I don't want you guys sitting here for hours watching me put this video together. Okay, so let's hide this. This is the fun part where we actually see the ring come to life, where we create a rendering of the ring and you're able to see the gold colors, the diamonds, the rubies. And when we sit down and review the design, uh, you and I can actually move any diamonds and gemstones around because maybe it's just not quite in the right spot where you want it to be, or maybe it sits up a little bit high. Okay, so these are going to be the diamonds. I've already put them on a separate layer compared to the ruby, so I, it makes it a lot easier to select them all. Okay, let's go through here to rubies. This client actually has like three or four different rings of random diamonds and rubies, and so we're just combining them all into one fabulous ring. I'm so excited to get this one casted. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this is kind of the background of the picture. So we want this to look like the ring's actually sitting on almost like a tabletop because um, I don't want it to look like the ring's just floating out in space. Okay, so let's render this. Let's make it a bigger picture for it so you guys can actually see and render. And in these renderings, we can change it from white gold. Maybe you want it to be a two-tone color. It's a really fun, interactive computer program. And you can see it's starting to come together. I mean, just look at all of that beautiful scroll work. It's going to be cut all the way through, so it gives it a really light, airy look. It's going to be absolutely stunning. So after this, I want to show you how we can actually rotate the ring and you can see another side view of this design since there's so much detail going all the way down the side of the ring. So we're just going to kind of angle this so we can get it just right. Um, that's the fun part about this interactive program. You can view it from all different angles, change the gemstone colors, metal colors, get as detailed as you want. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, kind of see a little bit more behind the scenes. Of course, if you love it, uh, feel free to leave any comments below of what you love about it, questions, or what you would like to see. And of course, please share our videos as well and follow us on social media. Have a great day, everyone.